Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Brandon with Believe in the Run. So nice to have Brandon here, because this kid's Happy laying out some miles. You're training for your first marathon, right? Training for my first marathon, yeah. Oof. Mm -hmm. And so getting some of these shoes to try out is probably helping eat up some of those miles. Well, what's nice is if you're looking for a shoe that's super durable, then this shoe probably does it for marathon. Well, training. what shoe are we talking about today? We're talking about the Asics GT 2000. This is the 10, 10. version. Yeah. 10th model. This is what a classic running shoe looks like. And that is something I do love about this shoe. Mm -hmm. It has a classic running silhouette all the way from the toe to the way that the throat comes in. It just has a really solid running DNA to it. And it's it's a classic A6 shoe, so it should. This is what I consider kind of like that all reliable, but in the best of ways. Yeah. And we should mention that this is a stability shoe, technically. But before we get into all that, Let's go over the upper, and both of us put miles in this shoe. I thought the fit of this upper was exceptional. Mm -hmm. I thought it is very comfortable. It's got a lightly padded tongue, heel counter is a little puffy, stays in place, no heel lift, no hot spots. Breathability. I thought it was pretty breathable right. personally, but then again, the times when I was running with this shoe, it was a little bit cooler outside. It was a little bit nicer. Maybe I was running with it at night or really early in the morning. So I didn't really get to test it out on those really, really hot temps. Yeah, I think I would like it to be a little more opened up in the, especially in the vamp here. If they brought in a little more oxygen sucking air holes, I'd be pretty excited about it. Interesting, I don't think I felt that same way to be mm -hmm. fully honest, but. All right. You can agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. The other thing is you got a nice heel counter here. It's pretty stiff. So again, pretty traditional Asics style upper. Nice fit, padded tongue, laces stay tied. Just a nice traditional like engineered yeah. mesh. But then the new thing about the 10 is the Flight Foam Propel. So this Flight Foam Propel, which is a new foam that they're starting to work with, it's snappy. It's really, really snappy. It's really nice off the foot and I thought when I first look at the shoe and I was going for my run, I thought, mm, it's just not gonna have that pop, it's not gonna have that toe off, and it really does. What the Flight Foam Propel is, is it's a tuned Flight Foam for more bounce and a softer feel, and you're gonna see it sandwiched on top of the more traditional foam mm -hmm. here that the gives you truss. the, what they're calling light truss, which is really just a firmer, uh, medial side to give you that stability and then it's backed up by a little bit of the rubber you can see the rubber comes up here on the side mm -hmm. and gives it that more stable feeling on the medial side of the shoe to help with pronation i don't wear stability a ton and i didn't feel like this stability got in the way of how i like to run well the way i like to look at it is you've kind of you can even feel it that on the light truss side it might be a little bit firmer maybe a little bit more supportive and then you've sort of got the more responsive side on the outside here where it's going to have that exposed gel and it's going to maybe have like that quicker poppier toe off feel so it's really going to force you to have support on those inside uh the inside part of your foot and light truss is really not the foam it's more that they used to have the plastic tpu trustic system on these asics and they are getting rid of that and replacing it with the foams and the rubber, which is lighter than putting in, I guess, a plastic truss Definitely. on the shoe. Overall, through the stride, I'd agree with Brandon. It can be snappy. I feel like this is one of those workhorse shoes that's your daily trainer that you can get out there, pile the miles on. There's plenty of rubber on the outsole. The grip is actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any issues. Grip is great. In terms of grip, you're really just, it's gonna be a super durable ride. It's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of traction. Um, this, like Thomas said, is a workhorse shoe. So expect to get close to maybe 400 miles in this shoe. If you wanna take it that far, then you absolutely can. And yeah. uh, it won't really give you any issues. If you want something that has a more natural, organic, light feel, I think the GT 2010 does that. This is a size 10. It weighs 10.55 ounces. 
or 299 grams. Not super light, not super heavy, especially for a stability shoe though. It kind of leans towards the lighter side for stability. Well, this is the thing, right? So I'm someone who traditionally wears neutral running shoes. And so for me, when I see a stability shoe, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna love it because I don't traditionally love stability shoes. But if it's got a little bit less weight to it, that's gonna give me a little bit more of a feeling to be like, yeah, I wanna get back out there with this shoe. I wanna keep running in it. The other thing I thought was nice is when your legs are tired, so I was doing after workouts and stuff, you put this shoe on and it does keep, you know, the foot in a better, not a sloppy feel as you might get if you're just tired in a neutral shoe. I think this is designed more for the person who needs stability and wants a light, faster shoe. It's got an eight millimeter drop. You've got 22 in the heel, 14 in the forefoot. Did you uh, notice the drop or do you even notice drop? Do I even notice drop? That's a great question. Um, to be fully honest with you, <laughs> I didn't notice it. So. This shoe would probably give a thumbs up to, uh, especially if you need stability. Thomas, I gotta say something that you're not gonna love. Oh, no gusset at time. I don't think it has the gusset, man. No gusset. No gusset, but. You have so much stuff here holding the tongue in place. Yeah, I honestly, I had no issues with the yeah, lacing I system. Have. I didn't really have any problems there. The lockdown was fine. The shoe comes in around $130. And to be honest, I think that's pretty much fairly priced. Daily for trainer. For this daily trainer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna fit into that same category as the Nova Blast, the Nike Peg, which is 120. Mm. So you're gonna get, what, $130 for what's gonna be about 400 miles, dollar per mile amount. Don't know off the top of my head but it's gonna be pretty damn good. And wait for the men's and women's review because ASIC's been doing specific builds for men's and women's. So the women's is a little bit different. They have a custom fit for men versus women. Megan has the GT 2000 and she'll be part of the written review. So you can check that out. Uh, her color was really nice. Yeah, and, she got the cooler color. Yeah, one, muted you know. pink, but. Thanks, A6. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> Watch, Brandon's never getting Ridiculous. a shoe again. Ridiculous. <laughs> never getting a shoe again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so thanks for watching and go ahead, subscribe to the channel because you want to know whenever we're dropping a video. Absolutely. Brendan does. If you like those cool intros and all the fun stuff, that's my man Brandon here. Yeah. He's putting up together our videos. Normally he's on the other side of the camera, but we're starting to get him into shoes. And I mean, you gotta see this face on video, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, but you have to see my face on video now, which yeah. is exciting. Awesome. So, and then check out our podcast, The Drop, Fuel for the Soul, Strava, Facebook, Instagram, all the, all the, the things. Dip, dip, dip. Do you wanna say Fuel hi to your soul. mom? Hey, Ma. There you go. And we're out. Look at that. She's going to love that. Well, she's <laughs> she's going she's gonna to love it. What is the GT? Is the GT like a car brand? Like Grand you, Touring? Like, like, like I was thinking like Grand Torino. Oh, like, yeah, Grand well. Torino. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. All right. GT. We'll have to We'll have to find out. Let us know. Seriously. All right. Yeah, leave it in the comments. If you've tried this shoe or the uh, GT 2000s of the past, I think you're going to dig this shoe. It's a nice update. Leave your comments. Yeah. And we'll right. check you out. We're out. Boy. Oh, pretty things that we need. Actually, Actually it's, it's, a, it's, a shoe. it's a medium shoe. It's, it's, it's a okay. medium shoe. It's a medium shoe? Yeah. <laughs> what it's, does that even it's mean? Not, it's not great. It's not bad. It's right there in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle. I can get behind that, actually. Right. I, I think I can.